uh, shall we say, the new generation of Pentecostal leaders. Thank you for inviting me to share with you at this meeting. I wish I could come. Unfortunately, it's just impossible for me to come. Thank you for honoring me by giving me uh, a topic to discuss with you. But you will please permit me to put the topic aside. Because I feel led of the Holy Spirit to speak to you straight from my heart, not a sermon, just to share. Uh, shall we say as an elder to a younger generation? I want to beg you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You see, I, I, I don't want to embarrass you, but honestly speaking, I would have gone on my knees to say what I'm about to say. There's no doubt about it that the older ministers, older Pentecostal ministers, might have one or two issues. <laughs> but so do our parents, our old parents, our mothers, biological, our fathers, biological. They are not modern. I'm talking of our biological parents. But we still Whatever charm was placed in front of the church and then kick it out of the way, time sent it ablaze. I listened with awe at some of the experiences that she shared with me. But then, very humbly, I asked. Can you remember a particular stage where you said, I do to Jesus? Because he is the husband of the church. And for a woman to be married, she has to say, I do to the husband. I, I use wisdom. And God helped me. Finally, she understood what I was talking about, and she gave her life to Jesus. And very humbly, I began to talk to her about baptism in the Holy Spirit. And when I found that things were getting a bit slow, 
I had to use other people to help me reach out to her. Finally, she got baptized in the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Beloved, I'm begging you. The older generation of Pentecostals, they have issues. I know I'm one of them. But they have experience. There are certain things you don't learn in any Bible college. There are certain things that can only be learned as you travel along this way. There's a lot you can gain from them. Please, I'm begging you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, don't let pride rob you of some tremendous things you could gain from these older generations. And believe me honestly, whether you know it or not, they are going. If the lottery is now, many of us will soon be gone. And once we are gone, we are gone. So before we go, now that particularly we, these older brothers, have humbled themselves in reaching out to you. Respond. Please. I beg you. Respond. You have a lot to gain. Ask our president, Bishop Waliuki. Whenever we had an opportunity to hold a meeting of people who gather together um, under the title of apostles and one of the younger people and among the people who gather there by the grace of God I think I am the oldest of them who ask one of the people to share and I will sit down there and listen and after they finish sharing when everybody is commenting, I always kept quiet because I had a lot to learn. The old has a lot to learn from the, from the new. But don't let the new think that they know it all. <laughs> because they don't. That's the truth of the matter. Ask Bishop Waleoke. He will tell you that after everybody has spoken, to show you that I learned something, I will now go over the sermon that whoever preached had preached. Point by point by point. 